Okay, hello guys. Uh, today we're gonna do a new deck profile. No, it's not an April Fool's video. I am in a new deck because after freaking five years of Paleo, I need to play something else, or I'm gonna go crazy again. Honestly, I played this. I played this deck about like three days now, and I love it. So we're gonna go right ahead of with the monsters. We have three Zephyrite. Nui, the secret of the Yang Zing. This thing is legit perfect. This thing is a Yang Zing and a Zephra. Also, it works with the trap, like Zephra, um, Zephra Divine Strike, and also Nine Pillars. Nine Pillars is still gay to this point. And then we have Zephra Xia, Treasure of the Yang Zing. This thing is like your target something and becomes a tuner, which is great. And then we run one of the Shadows because it's level two and it's level four, which is nice. Rescue Hamster, I plan to get more of this guy because Rescue Hamster, reading it, it's fabulous. Then we run pseudo fucking, um, what's it called? Electrum. This thing lets me dump um, an extra deck, which is nice. And then we have we run one of each of the, um, the Stutter Knights because set cards face up. Then we run two Pilika and two... Except for Wendy, because e tele targets, and then we run one auto synchron because I could target one to synchro summon immediately. That was monster, and that was my basic lineup. And then we run three Ash Blossoms, two Ghost Thuggers, and then two Gamma, and a Driver. Because we can't, we have to negate. There's no fucking way. And then we have three terraformings. I know one of them is not secret. If you're watching on um, Rarity Horrors, I know. Don't 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 bug me about it. I'm getting the third one. Don't worry. And then I have three Zephra um, Providence. Another thing, this thing searches everything on the deck. So, and also has a grave grave protection effect where I can, if a Zephra card would be destroyed, I Zephras or Zephras would be destroyed. I can just banish and say bye. And then I run three Oracle of Zephra. This thing, depending on what I summon with those Zephras, except Link, I get an effect. But it's only once per turn, which is sad. And also, this is a hard once per turn, which is sadder. We have one Regeki and Itali. Itali is for the Psychics, and Regeki is because board clearing. And then three Zephra Divine Strike. I really hate Evenly Matched, and this thing stops Evenly Matched. I didn't know about that until yesterday. I'm a dumbass because I forgot this was a counter trap. And Zephra War at one because you want to see you want to see only one of this card. It's a brick in hand sometimes, and also you have to pop your own. So Solemn Morning because Solemn Morning, and then we have nine pillars because this card's still gay at this point. And then we run for extra deck. We run one Ignister, one Ancient Fairy. We run one Star's Charge, one Manifest Horus. One Trishula, one Chaofeng, one Yazi, two Metatrons, one Decode, one Underclock, one Staruja, one Photon, Strike Browser, and then two Boxia. And then from there, we have the side deck. We run three Lullaby of Obedience. This is my secret tech because you can call any hand trap, you get, your opponent has to give it to you or put it on your side. Then we run three Mind Crush, because Mind Crush. And then we run one Lancia, like, same reason I hate, hate Evenly Match. Gamma Seal, Ring Dragon Ross Beer Mode, hate True Nades, and then Chaos Hunter, another reason. And ABCs, pretty much. And three Call Body Bates. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, um, if you want more of this, like another deck profile, I'll do more. But this is like one of those that I actually wanted to play. But every time I try to play it, it got expensive. But thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Have a nice April Fool's Day. And let's hope we get a ban list soon.